what's done? The Dean is not available. Why are you here? I am the assistant to the Dean. My career isn't quite as stagnant as some. Hm. On some notes and luit. Really? First I've heard of it. I am the director of the gym's exhibit. We have important matters to discuss. Oh, and he would be happy to meet with you, Mr. Dwarak. Once he returns from his trip. That is not soon enough. His schedule is very tight, but I will see what I can do to fit you in before he leaves. And I do look forward to speaking to you then. Just stay out of my way. You will regret delaying our meeting. Nancy! Are you all right? I thought I heard you cry out. Have you seen this image before? Pani! Who sent that to you? It showed up on my computer when I tried to download a file. It is the puppet of death. Very old. We don't see that anymore. Scares the children. It is an omen that should be forgotten. Have other computers been hacked here? Here? In the cafe? No. Not since we started using Lukage protection. Hmm. Maybe it didn't get a chance to install on this computer. If Apparat sold you this computer, take it back. They will help you. Elka did say to bring it back if I had any issues. And she is interested in cybersecurity. 
I'll take the laptop to Elka before they close for the evening. Good idea. Also, I feel I should mention, do you know what Lotkaji means in English? I can't say I do. It means people who move puppets make them dance. Puppeteers. Yes, that's right. What a funny coincidence. It is. Locked. It's not too late. Please, come in. What can I help you with? My laptop may have been compromised. I know you said you had wiped it before selling to me. Would you mind taking a look at it? I will do my best. Where were you when you noticed the virus? The cafe, in the castle square. Did you connect to the public Wi-Fi? I did. Should I be concerned? Ah, well, it can't hurt to check. Did you connect to the same network on your phone? Yes. Let me see that, too. This must be Elka and her mother. It won't open. Your devices are safe to use. Thank you. I'm sorry to disturb you this late. I sold you this computer. I should fix it. Plus, I welcome a distraction. Something on your mind? I've just been busy. Juggling my time running the shop and taking classes so I could use the break. Gives me more time to daydream about Radic, I suppose. Speaking of... Did you get the chance to see his puppet show today? 
I did. He was quite the showman. Well, keep an eye on him for me. Sure thing. I have to ask, do you think my computer was specifically targeted? Why would it be? I have to watch myself sometimes. I do too, but I carry protection. What were you doing when you noticed the pop-up? It showed up after I downloaded a certain file. It's possible the file had a virus. I ran a virus scan on your computer and it didn't find anything. What was it you were downloading? Uh, research. Okay, keep your secrets. You said you carry protection. Do you carry a weapon? Well, sort of. I wear a ring with a taser. I've never seen anything like it. Did your grandfather make that for you? No, though he used to make jewelry for my mother. The base is from Zlati Jewelers, but I've made a few modifications. It could fit a little better, but it does its job. Sounds expensive. How does it work? Electric battery. It can really put out a shock. It's late. I should get going. Thank you for fixing the laptop. I will do my best to keep my devices protected in the future. Come back if you do. Or I could teach you a little bit about how to protect your computer and yourself right now. I would like that, thank you. I have a feeling I'll need it. This was something I did in class. It's fun, like a puzzle with block coding. It's pretty basic for cybersecurity students. You can see there's an action count. There are a limited number of actions you can take before the system detects you. These blocks are a metaphor for security mechanisms you bypass. This is a data block. This is what you're looking for. Nice, that's next level. I recommend looking at our pamphlets and our other info screen here for more tips on how to protect your device to prevent any further problems. I'm impressed. Thank you for the lesson. There is so much to learn. I see why you're majoring in this. Oh, I'm um, sorry, Elka. Do you mind? I need to take this call. No problem. Take your time. Hello? Hi, Nancy. Did you get the file? Yeah, um, give me just a second. It's fine. You can put them on speaker. Let me put you on speakerphone so I can check. All right. Who are we talking to? Agent Zane Garrett, ICA. Pleased to meet you. I am Elka Stroynik. Apparat. Good to meet you. Listen, I hate to be brief, but did you get the file open? I did. 
I was hoping you could clarify a couple of things for me. Go ahead. What should I be looking for? The Degas file tracks the location history of the gems and necklace. Pay special attention to the timestamp entries. They record when the necklace changed custody. Elka, could you tell if the Degas file was tampered with? Ask me in my third year of school. If you notice anything wrong on your end, I can put in an order to review Degas security. That said, hacking or tampering with the Degas site would affect more than just one piece of jewelry. Got it. When I downloaded the first file, I got a pop-up and a virus. Is your computer safe? Yes, entirely. I send on encrypted lines. What computer were you using? A used one. But don't worry, I have cleared it again. Make sure you've got adequate security, and it shouldn't happen again. I'll do my best. Good. Most people do not realize how often these incidents occur. Internet awareness is always the best protection. I should let you get back to work. I am wrapping up for the day. I suggest you do the same. Good advice. Good to speak with you, Nancy. I should get going, for real this time. Thanks again. I'll get the door. Don't open the door! What is that? Careful. The image again. We should leave. Let me get my things. Go! Go! Nancy, I wish I had better news. Is everything okay with my dad? No, no, I should have been clearer. Your dad is fine, just busy on his case. Like daughter, like father. Besides the research, did he have a message for me? He said I should make sure to ask you to stay safe. <laughs> Sounds like him. Glad to know he's doing all right. Did you not find any background on Second Shine? I did. Or your dad did. Unfortunately, they're squeaky clean. Unfortunately? I know you were hoping for a juicy lead. That is true. If Second Shine wasn't responsible and her jeweler Vladena has a reputation to protect, the only other person to touch the necklace was Adela. What? You think Adela was involved? I can't rule it out. Yet. Could you have my dad find out about Adela's insurance coverage? I'll try. You think she's trying an insurance scam? Well, if she was, it would be quite elaborate. Why would she bring you all the way from here for a scam? Maybe because I came all the way from there. All right, I'll ask your dad to look into it. Another important topic? How are you? I'm a little tired. I keep getting phone calls in the middle of the night from this girl in Prague. <laughs> it's not the middle of the night. All right. I'm hoping to get phone calls in the middle of the night from this girl in Prague. Seriously, you can call me whenever. I know. I want to. Then do, please. <laughs> if not, I can always catch you on another podcast. I heard your episode really took off. Oh, really? I'm not sure I enjoyed being on air like that. You're a natural. I think I'll stick to being a detective. Thank you for your help, as always. It's better than studying. I need the distraction. <laughs> so that's what I am, a distraction. 
Till next time. Ned? No, it's Adela. I would like to meet for updates to the investigation. About that, did you have insurance on your necklace? Why do you ask? You may need to file a report if I'm unable to find the original gems. Don't worry about any report. Find who took the gems. I will do my best. I've spoken with everyone on your suspects list. Are you sure you didn't bring the necklace anywhere else? I need to know everywhere you went with the necklace after getting it back from Second Shine. I stopped by Apparat, but nowhere else. I had some relics on consignment there. I only stopped by to check on their status. I'll add them to my list. Before we meet, I would like to follow up on a few more leads. You have more than one lead? I know you're anxious, but we can't rush this. I don't like to waste time. I understand, and we don't have time to waste. But investigation requires patience. If you don't want to tell me today, then you can tell me tomorrow. I'll absolutely reach out when I have more to report. Hmm. If that's how you want to proceed. <laughs> I will move as swiftly as I can. Thank you. That's done. Check. That's done. And the crown jewels have been safe in Prague ever since. Wow, that's a big donation. Locked. A new story about an ancient group called the Residente. Hi, Radic. Do you need any help today? Oh, hi. The rich tradition of the marionettes called you back. Something like that. You have a lot of puppets. How many do you have? Ten in total. King Maria Teresa is my newest addition. I couldn't resist making her the star of the show. Are you sure you only have ten? You mentioned to Merrick you were waiting for him to repair your twelfth puppet. Uh, did, did I say that? You must have misheard me. I meant ten. <laughs> but Maria Teresa starred in your show. She didn't need repair. Uh, I'm an actor. I'm not very good with numbers. He knew who I meant. Yes, I suspect he did. Will you be putting on a play today? Eh, much later. In the meantime, I am still working on a script for a new one. What will it be about? <laughs> you will have to wait and see. Perhaps I should come another day. I promise, whenever you do, I will not make you work for free. Again. It was no trouble, Radic. Thanks. That's done.
Are you here for coffee or questions? A little bit of both. Have you heard of the Residente in Prague? You are a romantic. A secret conspiracy of criminals haunting the streets of Prague. Have you ever encountered them? If I have, I didn't know it. This cafe is amazing. It's been here a long time. Yes, centuries. Always serving coffee? Coffee was brought here in the 1700s. A Turkish peddler brought the mysterious drink to Bohemia, serving it in this very spot. It was considered a rare and exotic drink that few could afford. The rulers even determined it was only to be served to the royals and nobles. They say that members of my family long past were among the first to enjoy this delicacy. Ah, but today, I'm happy to say, our coffee is served to all. Was this cafe passed on to you? In a way, different regimes owned all of the businesses here. My family struggled to keep it, as I do today. I can see that you do love your work. It is the history that makes me stay, knowing how hard some have had it. I can't bring myself to leave. It is not that I have never wished to leave, to try something new. I would love to be a writer or to travel the world like you and Adela. Hmm, for me, I have my recipe book to write in, and I make coffees from around the world. For now, that will have to do. I should get going. <laughs>